Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics, Top Pop Math Chops, hashtag Math Chops. Um, so today I'm going to go over the proof, uh, or Leonard, Leonard Euler's proof of the Kernenberg Bridge problem. And there's a little story behind it. The story goes there's a city, Kernenberg, which I drew here, um, which is now located in what's now Russia, and it's separated by a river with two islands in the middle. And the story is that whenever two people got married, they would have to start at one place and walk over each bridge once and only once. And if they could do that, they would live a long and happy and have a great uh, long and happy marriage. Um, nobody could do this, of course. So uh, it was pr proven over and over experimentally that it couldn't be done. But that's not good enough. And nobody really had a concrete mathematical, scientific notion for, for why this was the case um, in this city. Until uh, Leonard Euler comes along and proposes a new, uh, a new theory of mathematics called graph theory, uh, which solves this problem. And it's the advent of, of graph theory, which, which later goes on to topology and is used in topology to prove um, theorems and statements about complex or just regular uh, objects with faces, vertices, and edges. So the problem which I just stated was you have, you, you have to cross each bridge, and you can only do so once. So you can't uh, backtrack. And you can try in any number of ways. Um, no matter where you start, you're going to have to backtrack. And so Leonard. Euler's observation was that, well, first he generalized this image, this map, if you will, uh, into a mathematical object. And this is something like what he um, was thinking about when he was thinking about this problem. Uh, a set of points with lines connecting them. And now in graph theory, we call these vertices, these points vertices, and these uh, lines edges. And we call the number of lines for each vertice uh, the degree of that vertice. So um, intuitively, if, you, if you're on a vertice and you want to, uh, if you're on a vertice that and that you uh, have traveled to. You have to have traveled there and you have to leave. So that's two. Uh, so you kind of intuitively need an even degree for all non-terminal vertices. So that means there, are, there can be two vertices that have an, an odd degree. So those would be the vertices you start and end on. And any other vertice has to have uh, an even degree. And this was Euler's observation. Um, and he, had, of course, immediately observed that um, all of these have odd degree, so it's impossible. And of course, with, um, the, with World War II and, and several other things that happened since Euler's time, a couple of these bridges have fallen or um, been remodeled so now this, this problem is actually possible. So the rate of successful full marriages in Kernensburg has dramatically increased because of this. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this, this math chop. If you enjoyed it and want to see more math chops, or if you um, want to see a math chop, a popular math proof that we haven't covered and you really want to see it, tweet us at, at center of math, hashtag math chops. Uh, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, thanks again for watching, and have a good day.